Ayan, hello guys, good morning. Nakakaloka itong morning ko ngayon. I don't know if I should be sharing this to you guys. But since I'm considering this vlog as a, you know, diary of my lifelong journey here in the US. So I think dapat i-share ko ito sa inyo. You know, good or bad, it should be shared because um, there is something that we can learn from this, not just me. Oh. This morning, I wake up so early, excited, na kinakabahan, um, because I will be taking my BMB exam, which is my driving test. I'm sure every one of you guys are aware that when I took my written test, it took me twice before I was able to pass. First is failed, the second is what? Is pass. Finally. <laughs> After nun, diba? Everyone passed. I'm the only one who failed the exam. And that's so de devastating for me. But anyway, um, eto, eto na naman da, eto na naman tayo. <laughs> for the second time around, bumagsak na naman ako, dai. Here's what happened. Um, pumunta na kami doon sa BMB, prepared everything. I gave my temporary permit. And then, yung exam has two part. Number one, yung first part is the uh, driving test, which is a road or it's a residential area in which they will just check if you know how to drive, um, you're stopping at the uh, proper stoplight or stop sign, ganyan ganyan, if you're turning right, if you're doing your proper signaling, um, doon, I pass that. I pass the part one, but unfortunately, I failed the second one, which is the maneuverability test. This maneuverability test is only um, available, or they're only doing it here in Ohio. For other states, they will do parallel parking. But um, what they said is that yun yung parang um, substitute or replacement for the parallel parking. So, this is very hard for me, yung maneuverability test. I failed on that. I was able to pass the cone eventually, but it took me six or seven times up, backing up and going to um, the original position of the car because, before I was able to um, pass the cone. Well, unfortunately... Um, I got or I lose 28 points. I lose 28 points and dapat hindi ka mag-exceed beyond 26. So, nakailan ako nag-stop? Nakakaloka. I failed the exam um, for the part 2. And unfortunately, if you failed one part, of course, you will not pass. Um, it's just so... I don't know if I will feel sad or some sort of um, whew, another exam. Um, if you fail the exam, you have to go to um, an, a training, an online course, a four-hour online course. And then after that, you have to go on a 24 hours driving with a licensed professional drivers and then once you accomplish that that's the time that you can reset for the exam pero pag babalik ako for the exam ang uulitin ko na lang is the maneuverability test um going home kanina i was with yung mga friend yung friend na sumama sa akin kasi dapat may sumama sa na li licensed driver um sila yung sumama sa akin and then oh my god I'm really devastated but now I'm okay yun lang talaga guys Mab mabilis akong ma-depress pero yung um I mean mabilis akong yung face ng depression ko punta agad pero mabilis din yung recovery right now I'm trying to Hi, just to accept the fact that I failed and I have to reset for the exam. Um, one thing that I have learned from that exam is that 
never really ask your instructor um, whether you will go left or right sa maneuverability. Because I asked her if I can go right, he said, no, go, go left. So, <laughs> oh my God, nakakaloka talaga. But, you know, um, there is nothing that we can do. I have already failed and I have to accept that and we take for the exam. Hopefully soon, I will be able to pass it. I'm gonna reset for the exam most probably after a week. It's just overwhelming to fail and then go back again. But at least, pag bumalik ako, maneuverability na lang yung uuditin ko, di ba? Ay, just have to accept the fact. Bye muna for now, guys. I'm just keeping you updated on what's happening. Artista ka, girl! <laughs> I know this is not yet the perfect time for me to pass. You know, the driving test is meant um, to determine if you are really a prepared driver. They, it's there to provide safety, not just to you, but to everyone in the road. So if I failed today for the maneuverability, it only means that I am not yet ready um, to drive on my own without someone else on the passenger seat. Because right now, I can drive, but there should be someone on the, um, besides the driver's seat. So, maybe I'm not yet ready for that. Um, of course, I know, I'm not yet ready. I still need more practice, pero at least napasa ko na yung driving test. Isa na lang, yung maneuverability na lang yung babalikan ko. And once I pass that, I can have my driver's license. <laughs> Please pray for me, guys. Hopefully. <laughs> Ay, nako. Um, except for the NCLEX and for the um, something else, yung mga NLE. Puro ako second take. My, I took my IELTS twice. I took my BMB exam, initial examination twice. And now I'm taking the BMB driving test. The driving test I passed, but the maneuverability is I would have to take it twice. Whew. It's just overwhelming. But I know God has the perfect time to give you what you really want in life. We just have to struggle and work for it. Maybe yung effort na binigay ko is not yet enough for me to pass the uh, maneuverability exam. So, I'm excited for the next try. And hopefully, makapag-practice ako ng maayos. You have a great day, everyone. I know this is the bad news. But I hope, you know, someone could get, I mean, if nakikinig kayo um, especially for those nurses who are coming here or who are already here and about to take their their exam I hope that this could serve a lesson for everyone to practice and at the same time not ask your instructor or your um ano to yung uh, magchecheck sa inyo whether you will go left or right because if I told her can I go right and he said go to the left I said, hmm. Pero, you can always request that. Pero, pakiramdaman nyo kung mabait yung instructor ninyo, guys. Kung hindi mabait, don't ask. Kung mabait, maybe you should ask. It's really up to you. You have a great day. Bye-bye!